Hi everybody from a beautiful day in Skyrim. So today we're looking at this gorgeous estate. We're just outside of Dawnstar. It's by Lids. So as you see, I am catching up with his back catalogue. And this is really nice. I love the whole of the environment. The, the walls are beautiful, the lights, the pool, the tree. It's all very lovely. Let's get down and have a closer look. Okay, so here we are outside our front gate, or one of them. Look how pretty, what a beautiful location. As I came up the hill, this one gave me a bit of a start. Hello, she doesn't want to engage with me. She's just standing there <laughs> like a sentinel. There's another one on the other side. There is actually a Dramora Lord in here, but he's a bard of all things. Yikes. <laughs> of all the things to give me. How cute is that? That is so nice. I love the fact that he's even bothered to put snow on the top. I've got my carriage to take me anywhere I want to go. A stable. Real solid, nice walls, eh? This is a really pretty little estate. And there is so much more. Obviously, this is lids we're talking about. Oh, let me show you where we are. Sorry, I completely forgot. So, there's Dawnstar. There's the house. You do have to find it first, but it is free. Is that my courier still here? <laughs> He's been here for about a day. I'm not even joking. He obviously really likes it here. So, I've got a cooking pot out here in my meditation den <laughs> and this is very cool because i can if it's a nice day like today i can get rid of my roof and i can also change the walls to wood oh i love clickies don't you it just makes everything so much more fun when that you know when you've got options and then <laughs> My outdoor hot tub. So who doesn't want one of those? Look at the detail on that button. Oh, this is pretty. So nice. Canopy? No canopy. Oh my god. Okay, so if you don't know already, and I'm sure you do if you've seen any of my other Lids videos, he has his own playlist now. Um, he does soap and body milk and toothpaste and god knows what else. All very fab. And you'll find those inside this house too. Oh my word, look at my little outdoor pool. It's like, um, oh, it's like a tidal pool, but not. <laughs> look at this landscape. That is really beautiful. Oh, I appreciate that. Do a bit of fishing even. Outdoor smelter. There is one indoors as well. Workbench, grindstone, tanning wrap, blah, blah, blah. Farm um, animals. Oh my god. Chickens. Super cute. Where's that go? Oh, I see. It's just a lookout. Oh, nice. I can't believe how much detail he packs into his mods. Can you? Okay, neat. This takes us around the back of the house. And my garden. I have as you see put in a few apple trees and one rose well i really need to go and get some more i've been planting them up all over skyrim look at my garden i've got water got my little potting table this is gorgeous look at that picture wow so the house is bizarre let me tell you straight away before we even get in there um i can't make head nor tail of of where you know of whether it's the right size and shape it just feels massive to me inside and it is there's room for followers there's room for kids there's you know everything you could possibly want and there's more out here as well I suddenly remembered so over here so just in case you've lost your bearings that's the gate where my pointer is where we came in so we also have this arrangement what is this? It's like, um, I don't know, someone to thaw out, maybe? But if we carry on up here, we have a sort of seating gazebo with views. Very nice. And then there's our other gate. If you carry on up here, 
you can get onto the top of this roof and meditate. Now, knowing me, that's probably not sensible. I'd just fall asleep and fall off, but, you know. Oh, wow. Just, oh, wow. <laughs> Look at that picture, though. That is fab. Okay, so I think that's just about all of the main features outside. So there is a lot, right? There's so much to see. Uh, yeah, it's a fun one. All of Lid's mods are so much fun, I find. There's always, you know, that extra thing, isn't there? And none of them are identical. They're all different. All right, let's head indoors. Inigo's already in there. I've literally put him indoors and then come back out. So I haven't explored this properly myself yet. Okay, we've got a little ante room with somewhere to stow our fish that we've just caught. A bathroom. Oh, here he is. Hi, Shazar. So he's your bard. And you can brush your teeth with the little tiny toothbrushes, the body milk, flushing toilet, sink, running water, all of that. Very nice. Just um, give you a bit of privacy, shall I? Oh yeah, and as you come in the door, look at this, you can just have a wash. Clean yourself off before going into the rest of the house. So we've got routes to take. We can go that way or we can go this way. I think that this was the area with somewhat less to see, although not much, honestly. So there's light switches in almost every room. Loving that little chair. That looks super comfy, doesn't it? But even more comfy is this sofa bed. It's really nice. So yeah, Inigo can have that. Or well, he can bunk up with me, it doesn't matter. Nice room. I'm assuming this one's yours, but there are loads of rooms in here. So, you know, just pick one you like. Book storage. The storage in here is phenomenal, as you would expect. Carrying on round. Look at this. Again, with the light switch. Oh, I reckon this is the bard's room, isn't it? Wow, he's got a big room. Ah, <laughs> uh, cool. Okay, why not? Oh, in you go. So, sat on the floor in front of the fire. Oh, lovely boy. Okay, let's carry on. Big dining room. Kitchen. There's a cooking pot. There's an oven. There's a grill. There's everything. Elinith, are you my vendor? Stop drinking the drink and talk to me. Doesn't want to engage, do you? you I thought this was... I thought this was the cellar, but maybe he's not. There we are. Finally, stop boozing. What have you got for sale? Mm-hmm. Okay, so yeah, he really does have so many things. Oh my god, okay. Okay, well, you're never going to need to leave the house, are you? With a vendor like that. If you can get him away from the booze. This is a nice arrangement. Very nice. I'll have that table. So, yeah, there's plenty of um, dining spots for folks. And there's also more than one butter churn in here, I noticed. Oh, and a ton of these leaning spots. They are everywhere. Cooked juvenile mud crab. Gross. With a sweet roll on the top. You're not going to go hungry. That is architecturally really attractive to my eye. I really like this arrangement so much. You've got your grill. You've got your cooking spit. You've got your oven. All under this wonderful arch, which looks like it's properly vented. Big sink, running water. Oh, there's loads of room for everyone, isn't there? Very nice. Okay, workroom. Alchemy, enchanting, some weapon racks. Bags of potions. Game with the name storage. And it's a cosy room. Even some books on the shelf. Look at that. Nice. Display cases bookcases, wardrobe, a ton of things to pick up and take. Actually, on the quiet, there's quite a few of those weapon racks. Okay, bathroom. Wow. All right, this is so nice. Actually, I find Lids does the most 
interesting bathrooms. Look at that. Okay, what happens? Woo! Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's stunning. Even with bath cloths. Look at that. Well, very cool. Favourite room in the house so far. Oh, I do enjoy that. All right, where were we? Uh, okay, upstairs. Almost missed it. Ooh, curious. Okay, so if you're a vampire, then Lids has you covered. Game with book storage, bookshelves. Okay, so I guess this is your bedroom. Apple dumplings in bed. I would as well. <laughs> okay, stamina. Bigger potions. Body milk. Nice. And another light switch, I'm guessing. Yeah. Well, would you look at that? Okay, so as usual, I'm going to put in my usual disclaimer of um, there may well be things that I have missed or will miss. So don't come for me, just download it and check it out. All that storage. Oh, I like that. Do you ever look at your video games and think, oh, I wish I had such and such a thing in real life? <laughs> you know, I often think that. Okay, I think we're done with that area. Let's see. Have we been in here? Oh, I find it so confusing. Uh, no, here we go. Your indoor, outdoor rafting area. That's nice, isn't it, though, that you don't have to go through a low door to get out and do these things. That is cool. Hey, in a go. Oh, right then. Okay, so kids. One, two, three, four. Five, six. And a big old area for them back here. Big living area. Not a massive amount of toys, but, you know. Have they got their own bathroom? Yes. Super. Oh, we like that. All right, then. Look at their diddy little beds. This is cool. Okay, there was a staircase, wasn't there? It is. <laughs> oh, so many doors. I love the indoor cherry. That is super pretty. Okay, a big bedroom. I did notice there was a skill book somewhere. When I was dropping in to go off. I guess it really is just a case of pick a room, isn't it? I'm assuming these are all follower rooms. Four in here, crikey. Oh, one of them might be for the um, the vendor, mightn't it? Oh, I love the rug. I really need to go fishing. I can't believe I still haven't done it. I think it's just because I have literally no interest in fishing whatsoever. So, I just can't bring myself to do it. Another big bedroom, another one of those sofa beds. Thing secret in the wardrobe. Wow, okay, well, you see. You see what we have here. Got a massive house for loads of people. Bunches of places where you can store things. Lots of exciting stuff going on outside. An amazing array of bathrooms, plus a vendor and a bard. So, you know, what more could you ask for? <laughs> All right, I'm going to leave it here, I think, and call it the end of this video and say thank you so much, as always, for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll leave you with that pretty view, call that the end, and I'll see you soon for the next. Take care and stay safe, everybody. Okay, just a quick update on the Lion Thane Stronghold that I videoed the other day. And at that time, um, you couldn't really have Elysium Estate, which is literally right next door with it, because it messed up the landscape. There is now a patch. This is what it looks like. Hey, in a go. 
<laughs> absolutely perfect couldn't be nicer so we have this whole area of Skyrim now sewn up and it looks beautiful okay I'll leave it here and I'll see you soon for the next take care stay safe everybody